Hello everyone. Uh, cloudy, uh, pretty cold day here in uh, Iowa. It's supposed to get snow, like 30% chance or something. Something mixed coming in. It's weird too, because yesterday it was just like 45. Uh, sun was burning so hot that it was searing your skin if you weren't, you know, if you weren't wearing like a sweatshirt or something. I mean, it was a nice day. It was like, it was just like, wow. End of November went out with a bang. But today it's feeling very much like December, December 1st. So it is what it is. But yeah, as you see, you got the Maverick behind me. Doing good this week. Uh, just weekly update video every Friday, you know. Um, I apologize for them coming out so late. I'm recording it now. It's around noon, but probably won't get it uploaded till um, way late at night. I'll try to get it uploaded tonight. If not, you know, tomorrow morning. But um, it's just, Fridays are always so busy for me. It's my first weekend day. Uh, so I have Friday, Saturdays off. And uh, so yeah, I'm just running errands, trying to get everything in before everybody else gets on their weekend and places close and stuff like that. So, but yeah, uh, Maverick's been doing pretty good this week. Some little kinks as I'm approaching that 4,000 mile marker, I'm at like literally 3,990 or something. And so as I'm approaching there, we are starting to get some weird stuff happening now. Um, it might just be me too. Every time I'm driving a vehicle for a certain amount of time, all of a sudden my ears just start listening more uh, attentively to stuff. And I start getting weirded out by even the smallest of sounds, even though it might be a sound that I've been hearing for the entire time. It's just one of those that, you know, it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to pick up on some weird stuff. So check out my video I just uploaded. Uh, that video around. Uh, so that video is talking about the um, the chime uh, for the lane assist adaptive cruise control. Um, you'll get like the little uh, 15 second warning uh, saying you know put your hands back on the wheel, and if you don't do that, it buzzes at you three times basically uh you know with big a red screen and <clears throat> big exclamation mark saying like put your hands on the wheel now um and it's at that point that yesterday it was making really weird a really weird kind of droned out type of of sound almost like it was dying and i think it is what other people are kind of hitting at i think it was just a glitch but nonetheless, still very weird that that would be happening at this time. It's technology. Technology is always going to fail you um, when you least expect it. It's not perfect. Nobody can make, there's no such thing as making the perfect, um, you know, electronic device that works flawlessly. Um, you know, everything that is electrical in, in a way or another is going to short out on you or do weird things. Um, it's just how it is so it's really weird though but it's working now again uh it was just the one time and then i don't know i turned the vehicle off gave it some rest and now it's back to normal again so that's why i think it's just a glitch but just so strange how um it just started all of a sudden you know just there and uh but yeah it is what it is but other than that not really anything different backing out of my garage there is like a weird kind of uh, I, just a little bit of a squeal as I'm backing up and then I never hear it again um, I think it's just my garage there is a lot of moisture that uh, happens within my garage um, I mean it's literally just thin plywood uh, nailed together and sitting on wet soil pretty much there is concrete underneath it like the truck sits on concrete but the garage isn't sitting on concrete. The outer edges of the garage and everything are just sitting on soil. So um, soil, grass even like grows into the garage if it you know gets too long because there's just nothing blocking outside from like the inside. So moisture gets in there, it snowed. So there's a lot of snow sitting on the roof. I guess I can't see it from here, but um, so yeah, it's just one of those things like 
as the snow is melting and, and condensation is coming up from the ground. I've no, I noticed it with all my previous vehicles that I've stored in the garage too. The uh, trike, uh, Can-Am motorcycle I just got rid of, terrible, terrible moisture uh, within the between the brake pads and the wheel and, and everything. Um, every time I'd back that sucker out for the past year I've had it, it was just always constantly just real whiny uh, sounds every time I applied the brakes and uh, backed up and all that kind of stuff, no matter where I went. Um, even when I left the garage and it you know, ended up like drying out, still moisture would be stuck up in there. And I know it because I took it to, to get maintenance as soon as it started happening and the guys told me, they were like, yeah, we, you know, didn't know that we've checked them all out and everything like that. It's like probably just moisture. And I was like, okay, cool. So I've kind of started noticing that now, which is like, it's just irritating, but it's one of those things. I know it's fine. Nothing's wrong with the brakes or the wheels or anything like that. It's way too brand new still for any of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, should, shouldn't be too long. Another thousand miles or so. I have to get it, take it in for its first oil change. Um, that, oh, that was another thing I was going to talk about too. I actually checked the, I'm trying to see exactly how realistic that, um, system is inside the truck that monitors the oil, uh, life. And right now it said nearing 4,000 miles again, it says I'm at like, I think it's 67% left. It's either 57 or 67. I think it's 67. Um, which I was pretty surprised with still. It's like, wow, that's uh, still some pretty good expectancy on that oil life there. So, um, be interesting to see if the truck actually just tells you, like it comes on and warns you, like, hey, you should probably get the oil changed and then tells you the oil life and all that. But I'll probably end up getting it changed before that even happens. I don't know. I want to lean on the side of cautiousness, so. Um, other than that though, truck is still doing really good. This is such a good vehicle guys. If you still haven't gotten one yet, go out and get one. It is so fantastic. Everybody that I have sitting in it still is just like, man, like they love it. The most compliments I get of course is the Lariat uh, brown, uh, desert brown, navy blue interior seats. Everybody just loves these seats. Um, but all overall than that too, nobody has called it out for being a cheap interior. So many reviews say that the interior is so cheap, it's cheap plastic. Of course it is because that's how Ford kept the vehicle so low in cost, but nobody notices it. Only if you're a car reviewer and you're stuck up like that and you're just trying to, you know, vent out or nitpick the, uh, you know, the problems and all that kind of stuff. That's the only way you're gonna know is it. A common person just going in and getting, and going for a ride in one of these like they're just going to be blown away they're not going to know it's cheap plastic or anything like that it doesn't feel cheap to me at all uh it feels like a regular dash um you know the the interior of vehicles i've sat in at least it's always just kind of like oh man you'll you know notice a scratch here or notice a scratch there and that kind of stuff um but yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's your normal interior, but the desert brown, all that kind of stuff just really makes the interior pop, stand out. Everybody's just been blown away by this this car so far. And I would know, I've, I've had it, over 100 people sitting in it now in the past three weeks from doing Uber. So plenty of people getting in the back. Nobody's complained about uh, leg room or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've had like babies, like full on baby <laughs> carriers, like stuck in the back. I've had large suitcases driving people to the airport. Like um, nobody's complained about one single thing. Uh, I get more raves and reviews uh, than I do, you know, about anything else. So that is gonna be the Friday video for today. Um, Happy holidays to everybody out there. We are now in December. And, uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys all in future videos. More coming out this week. And then we'll hit it up with another 
a uh, weekly recap of how it's done next uh, next week. So thank you all again for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you want. And I'm never going to force you, just if you want. And uh, oh, well, yeah, who, who's going to be our next uh, subscriber? The next subscriber will be our 100th subscriber. So if you can help us out, if you're new to the channel, help us out. Subscribe, be the 100th. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.